minutes to places okay. thank you thank you so Eric hey girl hey. how was your day I'm good I'm good getting ready for the show yeah we're getting ready yeah um so Derek do you mind if I ask you a question while you get ready uh, you know I don't mind go ahead girl okay um do you remember your first artistic experience like the one that made you go i want to do this for the rest of my life ah yeah uh, i think uh it happened at uh when i was like four or five years old honestly i was with my mother uh who is a was a church musician back then mm -hmm. and we traveled with um this pastor who always had a sing me and my brother and this one particular time we went up on this high balcony and it's, it's everybody and we sang uh the song called i have a long ways to go and after that they got like this standing applause <laughs> me and my me and my four and five year old selves and it was just like, yes, I like this. I think <laughs> I want to always be on the stage in front of people. Yes. Yeah. It awesome. wasn't in a theater, but it was on on the stage at church, you know? Well, a theater can be defined as any place there are there's somebody watching and somebody performing. I like that a lot. No. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> So you've been and you were bit by the bug at four and five and then and then you just continued on. You continued on. And we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We continued um, singing all over the all over the region um, for different programs for youth events. Mm -hmm. um, where else my mother would take us and she dresses in these little suits mm -hmm. with matching socks and overcoats and the little hats we were like the way i dress now is how i my mother dressed me then yes. yes and i'm to this day i always keep a suit jacket somewhere i think every man should have a suit jacket <laughs> but i always wear a suit jacket whether i'm wearing a t-shirt jeans okay. or whatever i always have a, a suit jacket on because my mother that's how my mother dressed us back then so your mom was your first costume designer Oh, she was my first costume designer. She was my stylist. Yes. Uh, and she was really quite, quite stylish. She was a beautician also at the time. And so. She still is. She still is. Yeah. She, quite stylish. yeah. she is quite, she is quite the, the style queen. Yeah. For sure. So like, that was a long time ago, you know, when you were four, were you just a little one? How, what keeps you going what keeps you inspired why do you keep doing it that's funny that's 54 years ago now uh yeah what keeps me going um what keeps me going i think is the 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 opportunity that it affords me to to be inspiring and inspirational and loving and in front of people mm -hmm. um i don't think we have in, enough uh, I don't think sometimes we don't have enough people to look up to that model mm. citizenship and, and integrity and mm. Mm. faith and hope and, yeah. you know, just happiness and, and being around people makes me smile. So yeah. you know, it gives people the opportunity to look up at, at me and see somebody smiling, if, even if they haven't had that all day, you know? Yeah. Um, that I think that's what really pushes me to keep going forward, and so um, yeah, so that's really what does it. Your ability to, to love and to connect. I think it's really like um, essential right now, you know, you know, and and I have this people first and people love and. Um, that that really drives me to want to make sure people are okay 
uh, especially the people that I'm around. And so, as a as a pop as a possible community leader and uh, person of of whatever level of influence, I think it's important to you know to use the platform to share the love. Mm, that's right, love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's important. So that that drives me. Um, that drives me. To, that that literally drives me. So, where do you get love from? I'm still looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still looking. Okay. The people, the the people that I, I I'm actually almost. I was talk about love. I, other than giving love, receiving love, I I, I don't. I get love. I mean, there's so many levels to love. Yeah, yeah. There's so many different ways to love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I guess so, I'm talking about that greater love, you know, the the uh, the world love, the big love, not the not necessarily the intimacy love, but that kind of love that like shifts hearts and minds yeah where do you when i get it you draw from I, yeah that's a multi still multifaceted and question for me uh, it's a loaded question for me i think mm -hmm. um right now uh when, when, when you know when you inspire someone or when you love one a group of people and you see people responding in the same kind of ways that it's like love that comes back mm -hmm. when you model it and you see other people replicating it yeah um when we're in a world where there's a lack of inclusion mm -hmm. and so if, when i model inclusion and then i see others mm -hmm. starting to be inclusive mm -hmm. uh in their spaces yeah. um and come back and say that you know that wasn't my bag until I met Derek, and then I realized that I could do it. Yeah. And you know that kind of squeezes the sponge back into my yeah. life. <laughs> uh, you know, when you reach out, when you help young some, when you help someone, and and they you pick someone up, and then they keep walking and keep going, and let you know yeah. they're growing and they've got a job, they got their own house. You know, there's so many ways that it comes back, yeah. you know? That squeezing the sponge of love back yeah. in your bucket. Yeah, yeah, it's like a squeezing the sponge and it it comes back to you, you know? Yeah. Uh, and other than that, you know, I just, um, I'm just trying to counter act and counter, be, be, a, be a counter mm. um, moment for people, you know, just, counter the negativity yeah. uh, to, to you know just alter so when i see people respond to it and receiving it that gives me back um more than what i probably could ask for yeah. in that in that level so time, yeah. like keeping on building and keeping on doing the work of of greater love and bigger love what kind of project would be something you are dreaming about, you know, working on to facilitate that? Um, I just wrote a report for a grant that I got this week and um, last last weekend. And congratulations! Thank you. And it was last summer, last fall. We did the. Uh, we did a big week of celebration with around Bay of Rest and, and Billy Strayhorn and yeah. and um, James Baldwin and Miles Davis. Yeah. And it was really phenomenal. Uh, it was a really phenomenal opportunity to use the arts as a vehicle for people to express themselves, to celebrate, to confront. Mm -hmm. And um, I really, in doing this report, because we call it the the we call it uh, what do we call it B gap, um, Black Gay Arts Project, yeah. and so for me, 
that is something I want to really focus energy on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because all those words in in the uh, in the in the BGAP are specific to um, what what can happen through the power of any one of those things being lifted. Um, in the context of community, in the context of citizenship, in the context of equality, in the context of hope, in the context of so much. It's just so loaded. But I was, I want to, in the, going forward, really work to get this project steady and off the ground mm -hmm. and as a vehicle that's taking people from one part of their lives to, a ne to the next part of their life. I love, and I don't think I've ever really talked to anybody that's articulating it in this way, that you are, I think people, a lot of people mean it, but they don't say it, this, this connection between art and citizenship. Yeah. You now being a good citizen through art, what does that mean? You know, that's profound and something to really explore. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, to you know, in my mindset, you know, we are we are all citizens, but all of us are not good citizens. You know, we are in neighborhoods and don't speak to our neighbors, or we're in community and don't interact with yeah. our neighbors. Um, there's no just a simple act of saying hello can can counteract mm. where I've been all morning. Yeah. Yeah. In my in my head or in space or at a job or you know, so citizenship and art and art is art can is it's the very conversation we're having. Art is how I look, art is what I say, the art of of being a citizen yes. um, is 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 transformative when it's realized and when it's actualized and when we realize the power we have that we carry as citizens yeah. in the neighborhood, yeah. in the in in any place that we show up, you know, we are citizens and neighbors yeah. to the people standing in the grocery store. Yeah. So we can literally have interactive art happening everywhere as citizens. Yeah. Oh man. Um, so do you? What's the barrier to to? This, this work? What's the barrier to engaging people in artistic citizenship? The, uh, the, barrier, the only barrier that there is, is what's in your head. Oh. Because, because <laughs> if, if, if what's in your head says that that person is not valuable enough to acknowledge, mm. then you have, you have shut down the process mm. of a citizen carrying the craft. Wow. Um, it's, 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 it's perception. It's perception. Yeah, and 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 so there's a re-education. Oh my God! That needs to happen, right? A yeah, yeah. And there's a first of all, there's a we got to break down what we've learned about people. Unlearn. Or we have to unlearn, mm -hmm. and and we have to carry that stuff to the to the rubbish and 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 put it in the garbage bin and start over and sure. and create new experiences and new memories and well, you know, new, conver new new conversations and get rid of the fears get rid of the inhibition mm. i mean here we are with the world inviting us to start over in some ways yeah. it, it is it's like a cleansing of the palate mm. Mm. we have this this is we can actually this time has been like a, uh, it's almost, it, we can use this as a soul cleanse. So we can use it as a cleaning of the, of our hearts, of our, of our mindsets. We can, you know, if we've used it to be contemplative and yeah. to meditate, you know, it could, it could literally be a fresh start. And it's, I love that. Well, in terms of fresh starts and in terms of new voices, who's the, uh... Who's somebody that you're watching? Who's an artist uh, or a artistic citizen that you mm. are um, supporting or wanting to uplift? Who's that for you? Yeah, I have, I have, uh, I have two pals of, I have two different um, groups. I have people who have, who are no longer with us, 
mm. um, like James Baldwin and um, John Lewis and um, Tom Sokolowski, mm. uh, who's no longer with us, whose words and energy that I, I draw from and find inspiration. Mm. And then I have living uh, Carlton Pearson and um, um, Jeff and Tammy and um, and people like um, and this may sound funny, but Grant Oliphant um, for me um, is really actively working to be a citizen that's artful and and he's working to create connection that is creative and that is a uh, community that is caring that is um so he uh i just lost Bernal lily um mm -hmm. Bernal lily was one of those people who didn't have barriers um but loving james and pam johnson um uh, you have a so, lot of inspiration you have a lot to draw from in your well yeah, you know, and but but that's what happens when you unlock your mind. That's what happens when you de 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 clod declutter and you de spark joy. You decompose. You decompose what what has been decomposed in your mind. What's been decomposing and rotting and hurting you? Mm. Exactly, dying. And so what it does is that's why we gotta constantly like unload because it it frees you up to appreciate the moment. It frees your mind up to appreciate who's in front of you, who's with you. So you don't know you don't see the negative, you see how wonderful they are and you begin to it creates a new journey, it creates an alternative experiences and it's mm. just you know yeah so we need to get free to unload to unlearn so we can be better artistic citizens yes yeah i mean because the connection between being a citizen and and creatives are directly are, are directly related they're like first cousins you know mm -hmm. i love that because you know they're first cousins it's all it's all it creates a sense of family mm -hmm. that that brings people together that may not be family but you end up being family because of the creative process yeah no yeah places oh it's showtime showtime are you ready you know i'm gonna take my citizenship on the stage with me <laughs> please do and let me get out of these rollers so i can join you yeah All and right. i think i got my eyebrows right i smell like hemp no, I put all this <laughs> body moisturizer on. Well, you have a wonderful show, my dear friend. You too, girl. Break a, break a leg. Break a leg. Love you. Love you too.